Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning of Monday, March 23rd. Wanted to let you know we're up to you for the first few days of the week here and give you a sense of what's expected. Hanging out, rained quite a bit last night. Kind of wet outside. And um, just hanging out here in the holiday kitchen. I got one of our dogs, Bailey, here. Let me show you Bailey. Oh, Bailey. Say hi, Bailey. I think Bailey's sleeping. Bailey's like, I'm not about this Monday life. But on to other things. Uh, so what are we doing in this video? Uh, number one, wanted to check in with you and, and make sure we've all done the assignment about trench warfare. Then I want to talk about the multiple choice questions in the study guide here. I'm going to put two assignments on Google Classroom. I want to talk about expectations on both of those. And this will probably be, be the only video for the next few days. And I'm going to give you an assignment that's going to fill the gap for the next few days. So uh, I hope you've been finding fun stuff to do as far as uh, life and whatnot during the, the quarantine time here. I've, I've been reading. I'm uh, watching a, a show on Netflix called The English Game, which is about the birth of English football in the late 19th century. Also got a lot of class conflict going on it. If you're interested in a uh, a neat little series. I've been watching that the last couple of days when I've had a spare moment. Otherwise, I've been playing some Mario Kart Wii. Uh, I've been working on my game, but you know, I, I think anyone in the world who plays Mario Kart Wii uh, will tell you that they don't like Rainbow Road. And I don't like Rainbow Road because I lack skills. And that's the truth. Otherwise, trying to make the best of the situation. Hope the same is for you. I hope your families are all well and you yourselves are, are healthy in mind and body and spirit, and away we go. Uh, number one, then. There were a couple handfuls of people who didn't turn in an assignment for the trench warfare world. I'm going to try and reach out to those people individually today and see what happened there. Uh, perhaps the case is that there's no communication link through Remind or through Google Classroom or something's going on. But uh, if I reach out to you individually, I'm not trying to put you on blast, just trying to say, hey, what's going on? Are you all right? So look forward to that. Otherwise, if you turned one in, there should be a grade showing for you in Synergy at this point. The only grade thus far for progress four or quarter four, for that matter. Okay. Uh, number two, I want to talk about the multiple choice questions in the packet itself. So if you'll turn in the study guide to page number six, okay. If you have not, as of yet, done the multiple choice questions, which I haven't told you to do them, so I imagine you, you perhaps would not have done them, uh, this is the moment where you would pause the video in order to do the multiple choice questions. There are two on page six at the top, two at the bottom, and then on page seven there are three, but we're only going to know how to do two of them. The third one is not one that we've really covered the material for. So if you have not done the multiple choice questions, pause here. Okay, and now back at it to discuss them. Uh, the, the questions on page six deal with World War I, that portion of our unit. The patterns depicted in the table are best explained by which of the following? Right answer, drillers. Uh, women's involvement in total war mobilization. We can see especially there that huge number of female employees as it jumps in areas like medical and chemical and also in the government establishments. That means working for the government in some bureaucratic way fighting the war. Notice how far textiles doesn't go. In other words, that one kind of goes backward a little bit because frankly, that's not really what we're making in a total war. And number two, beside the trend listed above, European nations mobilized for total war in all of the following ways, except C, uh, restricting religious liberties of those who are not Christians. That's something we don't see in Western Europe as far as the, the wartime issues. Now, there are religious problems. I understand that. You're going to say, wait a second, Holiday, the, the Protestants uh, are fighting one another in Ireland. Yep. And the Armenians and the Turks on the far portion of it. Yep. But by and large, the restriction of liberties is not the goal. Okay. Uh, next set, Mark Mazower's Two Cheers for Versailles. Which of the following statements regarding the Treaty of Versailles would support Mazower's arguments that the treaty was imperfect? B, Bakersfield. Woodrow Wilson's ideals clash with the post-war realities of both the victorious powers and the defeated states, thus making an effective peace improbable. You know, Mazower talks about how it's such an effect, ineffective, I beg your pardon, peace because it tries to do too many things. And really, it's trying to take 
Wilson's idealism and patch it together with Lloyd George and Clemenceau's harsh reality of life, and it's just not working that well. Number two at the bottom, which of the following provisions of the Versailles Treaty most hindered the political stability of post-World War I Germany? It's going to be C, the German reparations and war guilt cause. As we go on, we'll notice that the Germans are a much hampered thing. They really can't achieve a great deal because of the fact that they have to admit that the war is their fault and then pay all of this money to Britain and France, which is going to take a already taxed economy and make it worse. On page seven, you've got this image at the top there. That's Vladimir Lenin with the broom, and Lenin is kind of sweeping the earth here. Uh, Comrade Lenin cleaning the earth of the unclean, right? And notice the type of people who are the unclean. It's not people who are physically dirty in that sense. It's the people who are moneyed and powerful. Those are the unclean, which fits pretty well with the socialist way that Lenin sees the world. So we should, we should connect those things, okay? Which of the following would best reflect the goal of this poster? D, to gain support for the Marxist-Leninist critique of capitalism. Marx and Lenin believe that capitalism is a fundamentally flawed institution and that socialism is a better way to run a society's economy. And here, Lenin is getting rid of the powerful and the wealthy, the corrupt in his eyes, the unclean. Which of the following resulted from Lenin's compromise with free market principles? The NEP, the New Economic Policy. That's the policy that Lenin has that allowed people living in the new Soviet Union to exercise some capitalism in small-scale ventures while understanding that the larger push of the country was going towards big socialist enterprises. Okay? That's the end of the multiple choice questions. So, putting that aside for a second. Now, two assignments I'd like to put onto Google Classroom. Number one, I want to be continuous in the sense that I want to give us credit for having done our notes and our study guide. So here's how I'd like to work this. I'd like you to take a picture of the third page of your study guide filled out. The third page is this page. Okay? And I would like you to put that onto the Google assignment, and then I will give you grade, a grade, I beg your pardon, for the entire unit. Now, if you're someone who takes notes, sweet. Just send me a picture of the, your, your notebook open, if you will, to those notes, so that I can understand that it's, that it's you, okay? Uh, make sure it's you. I know it is you, but don't, don't copy somebody else's and be like, hey, this is mine. I don't understand what's gained from that, okay? So please make sure you're loyal to that so that I can give you credit there. The second assignment, the bigger assignment, and I'm going to pull it up on my computer so I can look at it while I talk to you about it, is the exam for Unit 8. I had said last week, Friday, that I was going to make this an essay, and then as I was constructing it, I started to, to hem and haw as to just having one topic overall. And so what I ended up with in the long run is five writing prompts each of which is probably going to be about a paragraph or two that require you to think and argue and also use the material that we have. And you're going to say, Holiday, can I use my notes? Of course you're going to use your notes. Okay. I would ask that you don't use other people's work. That's what I'm looking to avoid. You turning in your buddy or your, your, your best friend's work and saying, hey, look, I did this. That's not good. Okay. Let's adopt some good habits here. Let's make sure that we are earning the work that we get. Uh, it is difficult enough in this climate to, to run this in a legitimate fashion. Let's try and make that as easy as possible. So you've got five questions here, four of which are answerable really by your own logic and your ability to use the material and make sense of it. One of them requires you a little more in-depth work outside of the material we covered. It asks you to go off on a a tangent of research and find out material that goes deeper into things than we had covered before about total war. So please do that and hopefully you find something cool and interesting to report on. Um, this is going to be due on Thursday. Thursday is going to be March 20, today is the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Okay, so please uh, make sure it's done by then. Um, 
Otherwise, that'll be the work for the first half of our week here. And then when we get to, the, to Friday, if you like, I'll have a new video that pushes us into a new era, into the 1920s and 30s. Uh, that unit's going to cover the, the dystopia, the kind of confusion and disillusionment of the 1920s and 30s. And then it's going to carry us into bigger topics like Hitler and Mussolini and Stalin and Francisco Franco in Spain. So pretty cool uh, period of time. This is one of those periods of time where it would have been great to be in the classroom because I kind of dig it. Um, so unfortunately it isn't, but I hope you're making the best of it. As I said, folks, if you have individual questions, please get in contact with me. Otherwise, stay on the tasks that I've assigned. Uh, take care of yourselves and your families. Be well.